Hey team, how's it going? We're back in the bathroom, okay? We could literally watch Kristen chain smoke cigarettes for freaking hours. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are talking about did he do it or did he not do it? We're talking about freaking P. Diddy, okay? Because you know what? Everybody's talking about it, so we're gonna talk about it, okay? Am I gonna have this as a microphone the whole time? Probably freaking not, but we're gonna use it for right now, okay? You guys, I'm a pop culture commentary channel, and this is pop culture, let me tell you. And let me tell you, we're gonna talk about something that I don't see a lot of people talking about, which is who is following Diddy, okay? Now, let me tell you right now, when all the James Charles stuff was going on all over the fucking internet, one of the biggest things I looked for was who was following James Charles. And then out of who was following James Charles, who did I follow that was following James Charles? And that has sent me into a rabbit hole for multiple years about who I follow, who I don't follow, why do I follow them, why do I not follow them, etc., etc., etc. Now listen, before you guys go and look at my followers and who I follow, yes, I do follow problematic people. But do I follow people that are associated with an S trafficking ring? I'd like to say no, but pff, that's just me. Not everybody can be perfect, okay? Now, here's the thing. I did a little rabbit hole jumping. And when I tell you, pff, it was a little frustrating. The best way to see who is following who is always Instagram. For whatever reason, all these other platforms, they don't want to expose people, which I don't understand why. I want to know. And more of you out there, celebrities, need to be like Beyonce and Taylor Swift and literally follow like fucking no one. Okay? You'd be better off. I'm just saying. Don't like things. Don't follow anybody. Literally have a Finsta account. Okay? Have a backup account that you can use to do all your fun little goop and gagging and following and all that shit. But your public facing account? Girl, stop following people. <laughs> stop liking shit. It doesn't get you anywhere. Because what's going to happen is a sleuth like me... A Swifty like me is going to find things, okay? So this is what I have found. And again, as I always tell you lately, these videos are unedited. Why? Because I don't have time. And two, because you guys just want the content. So why do I need to edit everything? I never shut the hell up anyway, okay? Now, you guys, it's, it's, I, we're disappointed, okay? I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, which if you have a mother, you know that that's worse than being mad at your child. Okay, so here's the thing. I went over to the Instagram and I went over to TikTok to see who either Diddy was following or was following Diddy because I found multiple things that genuinely pissed me off and didn't make any goddamn sense. Now, this isn't everybody. Do your research yourself. But these are people that I follow on a regular fucking basis, okay, might I add, and also are a part of the Bravo reality TV franchises, okay? I wanted to make that very, very clear. There are also people on here that I personally am shocked are following this horrible human being, okay? Now, we're talking about just on a minimum basis, okay, six months we have known about the Cassie situation. Fully out in the press. Nobody can make an excuse that they don't fucking know what, don't, don't know about it. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know about the Cassie shit, okay? Open your eyes at this point, okay? So for six months, these celebrities have had the opportunity to use that as an excuse to unfollow him, okay? Now, another caveat is that I'm not dumb and I'm fully aware that a lot of these people probably don't even remember following Diddy. Probably don't even know that they follow him. Why do I know this? Because I have personally messaged multiple celebrities and have said, hey, just so you know, you're following him. Did you know that? And I have had several people message me back. Oh my God, I didn't even know that. Thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate that. I am unfollowing him on all platforms right now. So I know, I'm fully aware that there is a world where not all of these people and not everybody that's on his little follower list there know that they're even following him. But I'm just saying, if I personally saw what was going on to a human being that I have been attached to in photos, in videos, in any way, shape or form, I would make sure so fucking quickly that I would be disassociating myself from this person from beginning to end. Okay? I also want to add another caveat. I am sorry, but there is no effing world 
where these people didn't at least hear whispers of something. Okay? It's Hollywood. There's Reddit threads. Everybody knows something. Okay? The gossip goes around. Celebrities live in this narcissistic world where they think they can be bad, horrible, and nasty, and it won't affect them ever. Okay? So that's why they don't give a shit. That's why they talk about it. In public... For years and years and years, because the likelihood of them getting in trouble is about zilch and zero, okay? So I'm sorry, this list of people that I have here, there is not one goddamn world where they didn't at least hear a whisper. That's my opinion. That is my opinion, okay? That is not real evidence to back it up. That is just my opinion from listening to many people and many Reddit threads about what's happening in Hollywood all the time. Okay, that's just me. Now, we have two we have two social media websites here that I found very interesting. And then I looked and just Googled Diddy White Parties. That's all I did. And they are from the years 1998 to 2009 is when he had these parties, allegedly. There might be more out there. I'm not an investigative reporter. I'm just some crazy woman that sits at home all the time. Now, here are some people that I was very disappointed are currently following Diddy, a.k.a. Love, a.k.a. P. Diddy, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. Puff Puff Pass. I don't fucking know. A.k.a. Allegedly a Criminal. Okay? Instagram. Okay? Lisa Barlow. Brandy Glanville. Carrie Washington and Shonda Rhimes fucking follow him. That was disturbing to me. Jasmine Crockett, who I love, absolutely am obsessed with this woman, okay? Literally makes Marjorie Taylor Greene her bitch on a regular basis, and I love it. She's following Diddy. Found that to be a little freaky. Snoop Dogg doesn't surprise me. Kelly Rowland, that was disturbing to me. I'm pretty sure Gabrielle Union also follows Diddy still. <coughs> Candy Burris, Billy Porter, Candace from Real Housewives of Potomac, Phaedra Parks, Carol Radzivell, and Sheree Whitfield. Sorry, Sheree Whitfield. All of these housewives and people that on a regular basis talk about anti everything that he stand, that this man has done and stand for allegedly follow this man. Very odd to me. And I would love to be the type of person that wants to dig more into it and see how like deep and crazy this all is. Because some of these people, I'm just kind of like, huh, huh, okay. On TikTok, okay, you can't see really who Diddy's followers are. He has a lot of them. But you can see who he follows. And I found it very interesting. He only follows seven accounts. That's it on TikTok. One of which was disturbing as fuck to me, okay? So... Following only seven accounts, he follows an account called The Life of Brazil. He follows The Weeknd, which I thought was very weird. He follows Don Richards, which if you know how fucking weird that is, Don Richards was a part of the group Danity Kane from Making the Band, okay? And if you listen to anything about that group, if you listen to any interviews from those women, especially Aubrey O'Day, you know that he was a terrorist to these women, okay? It, there's not even a legend. You can watch the show yourself and you can see it for yourself. He was awful to them, okay? And one of the women that sued Diddy for harassment of the eschewal kind was Don Richards. So please explain to me why he follows her on his TikTok account. If someone could comment below for me, because I didn't do any research beyond that, please tell me why that's happening. Because it seems very disturbing because he actually harassed her, okay? Among other types of harassment. So please explain to me how that's a thing. Because that's disturbing, fucked up, and gross, okay? That's just me, though. He also follows uh, an account named Josie, uh, Carisha, King Combs, which is his son, and then the Combs twins, which are his daughters. That's who he follows over there. I find the Dawn one to be extremely disturbing and a red flag. And then I also find the weekend. That's also disturbing to me. One of those ones where I want to go look more at like the weekend and who the weekend follows and kind of like reverse backup. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that if you get to a certain status of celebrity, of followers. Basically, in my opinion, if you have over a million followers, you need to do the due diligence of fine tuning who you're following and avoid problems at all costs. Okay. That's just my opinion. If I was a celebrity, if I had over a million followers, the first thing I would do was delete every single person I follow. 
I would not follow anybody but like one account, one account that was like my mom or something. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. I wouldn't like anything. I wouldn't do anything on that account. And I would make a Finsta account, which is what, in my opinion, I think Beyonce Knowles does. That's just me. Also Taylor Swift. I think that those two women have decided we're only going to follow whatever one person. I don't even know who Taylor Swift follows. Does Taylor Swift even follow another human being? If she does, it's probably like the Taylor account or something, the Taylor, whatever it's called. Let's look everybody. Let's look together. Oh, right here. Taylor Swift live. Taylor Swift literally follows nobody on Instagram. And then Miss Beyonce Nils Carter. She, I think only follows Jay. I don't even think she follows her mother, to be quite honest with you. <coughs> <clears throat> Accounts. Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter. She follows one human being and it is only Jay. So I'm just saying, I just think it's smart. Jay, she only follows one person and that's Beyonce. I just feel like if you have that, she has 316 million followers. She needs to not follow anybody. That is the smartest thing to do. Don't like anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything on that account other than publish your content and what you want to show people about your life. And that's it. That's it. Go have a Finsta account and go run around and do your own little shit and investigating and fun and liking and things like that. And that, and that's good because then nobody can tag you. Nobody can be like, oh my God, that's so-and-so. Do like user 57222 with a blank face. Okay. That's the best thing that these people can do. And more of you out there, you can hire me as your PR people. Because let me tell you right now, if you hired me as your PR bitch, you'd never be in trouble. Let me tell you that right now. And if you ever got in trouble, it'd be gone in a millisecond. Okay. Problem is you have to admit to it and you have to take the fault where fault is due. We can't have this bullshit stuff. All right. Now, when I Googled the white parties, I found this also to be interesting that some of these people are on it. Now, mind you. Okay. This is from 1998 to 2009. We are in the Lord Beyonce's world of 2024. So that is a long time ago, people. Okay. That is a long time ago. That is over what? 15-ish <coughs> years ago. <clears throat> so let me just say that 15 years ago, they might have just came to one party, realized that it was horseshit and left the building. But some of these people I have put little red flags on because they were going more than once and they have been associated with very fucked up people in fucked up situations. Okay. First one is Paris Hilton. No shame, no hate to Miss Paris Hilton. Her life has been a roller coaster of abuse. Um, the school that she went to her family, like no hate towards Paris Hilton, just, you know, bad choices. Martha Stewart, Tommy Lee, not fucking surprised. Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher, red flag. We're going to get back to that. Okay, Donald Trump. Again, red flag. Going to go back to that. Quincy Brown, Moby, Heavy D, Jay-Z and Beyonce, Andre Harrell, the Kardashians. And I mean all of them. Every single one of them. <laughs> um, Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, the Osbournes, Howard Stern, Mary J. Blige, Al Sharpton, Rev Run, Star Jones, Leonardo DiCaprio, Flag, Scott Torch, Lil' Kim, Nick Carter, Aretha Franklin, LL Cool J, Amber Rose, red flag, Jonah Hill, red flag, Tracy Ellis Ross, Evan Ross, Niecy Nash, which shocked me, but also didn't at the same time, kind of, we'll get back to that, Lindsay Lohan, Nicole Scherzinger, Chris Brown, red flag, Olsen Twins, Busta Rhymes, and red flag, Russell fucking Brand, okay? So some of these men on here... They have a track record, okay? I'm pretty sure Russell Brand is allegedly in Minecraft trying to start his own fucking cult right now, okay? Because he's a disgusting nut job, okay? So just him alone is disturbing. Amber Rose, we know, has just recently endorsed Mr. Donald Trump, which to me screams red flag, screams girl. The call is coming from inside the fucking house, okay? How did you have a walk parade called a slut walk, but you endorse Donald Trump? Make that make sense, please, Amber Rose. I'm just asking. Make it fucking make sense. I feel bad for you that you are endorsing a man that gives two flying shits about you. It's disturbing and sad, and I wish the woman health and happiness because, girl, you picked the wrong one. I Like, I'm scared for you. I'm sad for you. And let me tell you right now, some of these women on here, I don't necessarily think that they aren't victims of the situation. 
and are a part of the situation and a black male world was wrapped around some of these women that had to do with this okay that doesn't negate responsibilities and actions and blah 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 blah, blah. but i'm just saying i could see a world where some of these women were fucking blackmailed to be able to have the things that they have now to keep secrets from the big bad men because let's be for real right now big bad men lots of them okay leonardo dicaprio nobody wants to say it okay nobody wants to say it. i'm gonna fucking say it leonardo dicaprio has a fucking problem okay he has a issue with dating young women now listen has he dated anybody under the age of 18 i don't know fact check it yourself don't see it myself everybody's in within the range i think of like 19 to 25 and then when they hit 25 it's like pfft, you're out you're out of the club you're out of the group we can't have you he's always surrounded by younger women he's always surrounded by this group of men that just gives me the ick and that's just me okay it just gives me the ick okay that's okay toby mcguire gives me the fucking ick jonah hill gives me the fucking ick i don't know what to tell you like you know jamie fox loves the guy but also also, the vibes. I'm getting weird vibes. Also, people don't want to talk about how he was associated with Katie Holmes, who is associated with Scientology, whether or not she wants to be or not. And in my opinion, no facts, no evidence to prove any of this. We'll always have an association with Scientology because of Thomas, because I'm pretty sure he's paying for things in order to make sure she shuts the fuck up. Also, Katie, Nicole, make a book, bitch. Make a book. I'm begging you to make a book and just release it when you're dead. That's it. Just release it when you're dead. Okay, that's all. Have a little journal, write shit down, and then in your will, just put release this transcript. Ba, 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 ba. I would love to have those two women get together and expose the absolute mother effing shiitake mushrooms out of Tomas Cruz. Okay? Ashton Kutcher. So Ashton Kutcher has a organization called Thorn. If you know, you know, okay? And basically it is supposed to help children from S trafficking and abuse and all this crap, okay? When everything came out with Danny Masterson, which was so unbelievably not okay, extremely disappointing and disturbing and was a nail in the coffin, in my opinion, for my support for Ashton and Mila and anything that they fucking do. That was a nail in the coffin for me. There's a lot of talking. It's like, oh, why is your friend with Danny Masterson? What's going on? And then you go to trial and then all this stuff comes out that, oh yeah, you support this horse shit. And it's proof because it's come from your own mouth. Okay. So now you can't backtrack. Now it is what it is. You support a convicted horrible human being okay it's right there you did the letters after okay so we now know what you support and what you deal with so for them to have an organization that is supposed to help these children who are victims of people like danny masterson girl <laughs> I, like i can't i freaking can't i could go down the conspiracy theory pothole for eons about this about thorn about their connection to it about danny masterson about scientology uh, i could go down a, like i could full go go right wing nut job in about two seconds flat if i wanted to with how many conspiracy theories i think now listen here's my here's my conspiracy theory listen i'm not a nut job i don't sit all day and think about this and go all over the internet about it okay but these are my two thought processes that i feel like with the ashton situation option number one they are horrible human beings and 1,000% support Danny Masterson and all the nasty things that he's doing and is somehow connected allegedly in Minecraft to the Diddy shit, okay? Again, allegedly, do not sue me. Allegedly, allegedly in Minecraft, okay? The other option, again, allegedly in Minecraft, in Polly Pocket world, he was being blackmailed by Danny Masterson and Scientology. Those are the only options I have because... As everybody knows, Ashton was a part of a death situation in his younger years. And people sometimes associate and think that maybe he was involved in it. Allegedly in Minecraft and Polly Pocket World. Listen, in Bikini Bottom, this may or may not have been something that people feel. Okay? And I feel like Scientology loves to blackmail people. Allegedly in Minecraft. It loves loves blackmailing people and holding people's feet to the fire okay so i'm just saying there is a world where that could have happened do i think that i think it's like kind of like a 50 50 situation i think ashton kutcher is not the best human being on the planet and makes really shit decisions and got sucked into this fucked up world and 
to, to give some validation to that, if you look at Demi Moore's memoir that she wrote, excuse me, <coughs> she talked about how he had like an S addiction and he cheated on her multiple times and that when they opened the fund, they called it something different, but when they opened the fund for Thorn, that was when she found out that he had cheated again. And so it's just one of those things where like, okay, he has an addiction to that. He's a very sexual person. Diddy's little freak offs are in that realm too. Ashton and Diddy are BFFs. I mean, come on guys. Like, I'm not going to say it, but like, we can connect the dots pretty easily. I like the math is mathing. Okay. The math is right here. Two plus two equals four equals yucky gross. Okay. Donald Trump, every freaking member of that man's family has been associated with this man. This isn't Jeffrey Epstein, you know, where Donald Trump is in like one photo, just one with, you know, Jeffrey. And it's like, doo doo, whatever. Like, I can ignore it. Like, it never happened. I saw and took a picture with him one time. I took one picture with Glenn Maxwell. Like, what's the big deal? I'm a famous person. I'm in New York. It happens, baby. Not this time. Diddy is in so many photos with him. It is ridiculous. If you go to Hassan, Hassan's page, shout out to Hassan. Absolutely obsessed with him. Love watching his shit at all times. The sense of humor is like truly my favorite. If you go to Hassan's stories on Instagram, it might not be up anymore. He posted a photo of all the photos that Donald Trump has been in and his family has been in with Diddy. And let me tell you right now, I think I posted it on my grid on Instagram. It is literally nine different photos. So he can't sit there and be like, Ugh. Also, a video was leaked of Diddy getting a happy birthday video from his best friends, people that love him so much that go to the white parties and have always had his back and his side. And guess who's in the goddamn video? Donald Trump. I'm just saying, why is Donald Trump, answer me this. Why is Donald Trump always hanging out with people who traffic children? I just want to know. I just want to know, why are you always seeming to be in photos with shit people? There are a lot of celebrities out there that avoid people like this, like the plague. But somehow you insert yourself with these people repeatedly. And in a dream, in a dream far, far, far away, you will be seen, sir. Very, very crystal clear for who you are. Okay, okay. All right. Another person that, listen, we all know, relax, okay? We all know that I am a massive Beyonce fan, okay? I have a tattoo from her Lemonade album, okay? I literally have a picture that I look at every single day to remind me that I'm that fucking girl, okay? Am I okay with if it comes out that Beyonce, Knowles Carter, and Jay-Z, Mr. Carter, are horrible people. Am I going to be okay if I find that out? Yes, I'm going to be okay. Because guess what? They don't know me. I don't know them. Okay? Hole in the wall. Just another person. I don't know them from Adam. That kind of shit. Okay? At the end of the day, I'm not going to like die if it's proven that she is a shit person to like a degree that is insane. Okay? That she is somehow a part of this. That Jay is somehow a part of this. I mean, honestly, if I'm going to be real with you right now, I hope that through this Diddy process, I genuinely hope that is not like the Jeffrey Epstein situation. I genuinely hope that we get every single name associated, every single person from small to large. I want it all because we need to have this transparency and stop giving money to people who are doing horrible, unforgivable crimes. I want to know who that is. And if one of those is Beyonce and Jay-Z, then that's just, that's just what it is. And we all have to live with that. I am not, I will be fine if I find this out. Same thing with like, oh my God, people love Taylor Swift and would like, you know, would apologize for anything that she does. And it's like, yeah, I will to an extent, but not when we're, we're talking about crimes. When we're talking about criminal activity, I'm not defending a criminal. That's not going to happen if she or Beyonce or anybody in that realm makes massive, horrible criminal decisions that there are proof that it's there. 
I am not defending them. Never going to, never was going to. It's never going to fucking happen. But that's just me and who I am. And not everybody feels, you know, the same way. But I encourage you to remember that at the end of the day, Taylor Swift doesn't know you by name. Beyonce doesn't know you by name. They don't know your life. They don't know what you deal with on a regular basis. They don't, at the end of the day, like you're not their priority in life. So why are you making them a priority in your life? What's the point of that? There's no need for that. So this is just information that I have. Now you do what you want with it. You want to keep researching. You want to keep floating around. You want to put comments below and give me more information to float around and do some follow-ups. Cool. I'd love to do that. There's so much to talk about in this little world, but I just want to make people aware very quickly that there is going to be some, a reckoning, I should say, there is going to be a reckoning, I think, coming with this situation, as long as it doesn't happen the same way as the Jeffrey situation, there's going to be a celebrity famous person reckoning. And I think we all need to be prepared to see maybe our favorite celebrities for who maybe they truly are and be okay with that. If there is proof, if there's evidence, if it's right there in front of our faces, we have to accept it. And I just want to make some of these people, some of these celebrities that a lot of people love, I just want to make people aware of maybe people's allegiances, maybe why, why are they questioning? Why are you following this person? Why? That is showing support. When you follow somebody on social media, you are giving a check mark to, I support this person. And we have to remember that. Like whether, whether we are big time celebrities or just little tiny little micro creators, who we follow does say something about us. And when you see your favorite housewife or you see your favorite celebrity following Diddy, that's disturbing to me and I have questions, okay? Am I going to go and unfollow Phaedra Parks tomorrow? No, I'm not going to, but I will remember this and keep this as a check mark in my mind. And I encourage anybody to reach out to these people either in DMs, in the comment section and go, hey, I don't know if you noticed you follow this person and that's not good. And I think you'd like to know that because again, I am fully aware that there is a world where these celebrities got more things to fucking do than click follow, unfollow buttons all day and maybe need a reminder of, hey, just so you know, you follow this idiot, you might want to stop because it's representing things that you approve of. Whether you want to believe that or not, it does. Okay? So you guys, I love you. I'm sweating. Have a great day. Live your best life. Your butt is so cute. Don't forget to follow me on every single social media. Subscribe here, like here, make a comment, share the video. You know you want to. Keep it, you know, PG, PG-13, constructive criticism me in the comments section. And I will see you on the next one. I love you all. Bye-bye.